Hello, people. I hope you're going out there to get some subs on National Sub Day. But today, we have something way better. We have your Athlete of the Week sponsor, our Pittsburgh Federal Credit Union, Alexa Rizzo. And some of y'all probably tired of seeing her because she gets it so much. But you know how this works. She's a GOAT, so she gets on here with the GOATs. So uh, first, I want to say congratulations on your award and earning the spot at the NCAA Championship, right? So you know how this works. We've got a few questions. So you had a great finish at the NCAA Diving Regionals at RT. Where are you feeling on the last few dives when you kept moving up the leaderboard? Um, so I really, they post the live results on online and typically I don't look at those because it psychs myself out, but for some reason I kept looking and I was trying to do the math and I was like, the math ain't adding up and I'm not gonna get up to where I need to be to secure a spot to go to nationals, which is first and second. So I just kept like focusing and hyper fixating on the scores and what I needed to get the dive. And I was like, you know what, I'm not going to get it. So I'm just going to finish my last three dives and do them the best that I can. Like I know I can do them. Uh, and then I did my very last dive and I came up out of the water. I looked at my coach. He refreshed the feed on the live results and had like this huge facial expression. And I was like, oh my gosh, what, what? And he was like, you got second. And I was like, no way. Um, so it was like an unreal feeling. I didn't even think it was possible, and then I did it, and I was like, wow, that's huge, and then secured my spot. Yeah, definitely. So from what I'm hearing, you're not a math major. You're definitely a nursing major. Yeah. All right, so, <laughs> so the meet was right here in town at RT. How important, how important was it for you to not have to travel far for the competition? That was huge. Um, I have been diving at RIT for a couple years and I used to do at high school also so being on the boards that I'm comfortable with and the like I know the facility and I know the pool and waking up in my own bed especially was huge and not having like that pre-meet anxiety of waking up in a hotel and then feeling like kind of uneasy and waking up at home was much more comfortable and relaxed and definitely helped my um, anxiety level on meet day. Definitely, man. Like they says, no place like home, right? So you have been perfecting your dives this season, right? Is there anything you're looking to change up for nationals? Yeah, so one meter is pretty solid, but my three meter is kind of lacking. Um, yesterday, actually, I just learned two brand new dives on three meter, which is huge. Um, they score diving based on the degree of difficulty and how hard your dives are. So I got two new dives, which is going to be really good for my score. And Hopefully I can place in finals at nationals with those. Definitely, man. Rip you out the plastic, you feeling brand new, right? So yes. you're on a long line of successful divers here at Nazareth. What is it like to be a part of that tradition? Uh, I think it's great. I mean, um, I got my name up on that record board, so I feel like that's a huge accomplishment. And to follow along with everyone else who's been here and done great and went to nationals, I just feel very honored to keep that momentum going. Definitely. Some of the people that you are hearing is also me. I'm one of the best ones. All right, so you're also a nursing major here at Nazareth, right? Is there any particular field that you are looking to to go into the nursing? Uh, yes, labor and delivery is my first option. Um, I'm doing my capstone there right now and I love it. it. I'm at Highland Hospital and I, it's great. I love everything about it. It's amazing. Definitely, people, make sure you see her when you deliver the babies. <laughs> Until next time, people.